What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on the uh, live stream with an update video on this uh, Wednesday. January 12th, 2022 is the date about noon here in California. Latest quake, a 2.5 earthquake in California. Looks like right around the uh, just south of the Bay Area there into uh, parts of the uh, California area. Let's go ahead and check out movement on the uh, latest U USGS map here. We did have some activity ramping up uh, further west into this region here overnight and also down through the uh, Indonesia area. I've seen quite a bit of uptick in earthquake activity around the New Zealand area as well. Of course this area seen a swarm of movement uh, a couple days ago up here along the Kermadec Trench. Uh, yesterday was a pretty large quiet spell uh, right around the time that the uh, 6.8 struck up there in the Aleutian Islands, but it uh, looks like overnight things have definitely uh, ramped back up, including a fairly deep earthquake here in the New Zealand area. Of course, this area right here, this little section uh, around the uh, plate boundary here known as the Hikarangi Subduction Zone. It's a uh, major small little subduction zone in this area around the uh, New Zealand area, but uh, very capable of producing some significant size earthquakes. Uh, so kind of watching that. Uh, pretty closely with that deep earthquake there 5.7 and 191 kilometers deep uh, so watch this area pretty closely also up north here a little bit more shallow earthquake first there was a 5.1 at 52 kilometers and then uh, we've seen that 5.7 strike up it looks like uh, oh, about five hours or so <coughs> or more than that quite a few hours uh, after the uh, 5.1 up here so uh, Fiji remains relatively quiet uh, throughout the Solomon Islands as well. Papua New Guinea did see a little bit of activity in the five range uh, and also a couple fours scattered throughout the Indonesia area. Uh, up north here, still pretty darn quiet here, at least according to the USGS along the uh, uh, this little trench area um, near Japan. And also uh, activity kind of, uh, I don't know, it looks a little bit more calmer today as far as the aftershock sequences there uh, following that 6.8. Uh, but Still some threes and fours kicking off there uh, in that region. We haven't seen any further migration of the pressure here, or at least as far as earthquake activity to the west, aside from that 5.2 that struck last night. Uh, looking up into the Alaska region with the all magnitudes, I can see a little spotty activity throughout the region up there, and uh, some movement right down here in the Gulf as well. 1.3 at 24 kilometers deep. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what, what do we got up here. This thing just popped up here on the map uh, right around the Fiji Islands area. We talk about how quiet it is and look, bada boom, bada bang, things pop up. Um, yeah, 4.9 in the Fiji area at uh, looks like 509 kilometers. Pretty deep movement here. Return to some deeper activity uh, taking place. It looks like uh, Big Island of Hawaii. Latest quake, a 2.4 right around the Mauna Loa area. Uh, still seeing some movement around Kilauea Volcano uh, with a return of activity there and uh, some southeast flank regional uh, earthquake activity. Uh, nothing significant at the moment. Of course, still watching the activity there pretty closely around the Kilauea with the uh, inflation and deflation of the, uh, of the uh, activity there around Kilauea. Uh, let's see what else we got here in China. We did see some movement here. You can see a little swarm of earthquakes. Got to zoom in to see them all around the uh, China area. A couple fours and a couple lower five magnitude earthquakes as well. Mostly confined to this region here of China. And a little bit of activity around the Middle East as well. Looks like southern Iran and the Afghanistan area. A little bit of activity there as well. Uh, or Pakistan. Looks like we're on the Pakistan border. Iran over here. Middle East looks pretty quiet. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean as well, except for some movement overnight into the South Sandwich Islands with a 4.8. South America remains relatively uh, stable and calm at the moment. A little bit of activity uh, around the Chile area. A couple low grade 4 magnitude earthquakes, nothing significantly deep in this region uh, at the moment and uh, some further activity around the Puerto Rico Trench and the Dominican Republic area where they've seen a 4.0 and uh, just some spotty activity around the southwest or the southern edge here of the uh, Puerto Rico area. 
Uh, let's see, let's look at the states here real quick. This map here is, is showing a pretty good, well, a pretty good cluster of earthquakes around the Yellowstone area on the USGS map here. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, overview of the raw data. Of course, these seismograph stations here uh, tend to show that data, right? You can't really erase this unless you disappear all the data from here, which sometimes happens. It seems kind of odd. Uh, anyway, earthquake activity. What's going on there in Yellowstone? A little bit of movement here around the northwest corner of the park. Earthquakes are in the spiky areas. The very well-defined signatures, signatures here of an earthquake. Uh, this one here is uh, a little bit stronger one, but away from the station. We'll look at that here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, definitely a handful of earthquakes taking place in Yellowstone National Park around the northwest corner. Uh, and also an individualized swarm uh, individualized meaning separate from this area um, a little bit more closer to the caldera within the caldera of Yellowstone National Park you can see a pretty intense period of small earthquake activity uh, kicking up here it looks like uh, earlier this morning within a oh, about an hour or so time period uh, probably a good 15 20 earthquakes or so taking place in that region over the last couple hours still uh, continued movement but nothing uh, Nothing like we had seen earlier this morning. The uh, somewhat larger quake, at least in the clusters of quakes here, uh, looks like I'm kind of having a, trying to figure out exactly where the epicenter of this uh, somewhat larger one struck. I guess we can look here on the USGS map and uh, it might be this one right here, 2.0. Is that the largest that we had here? Had a 2.0, 2.1 way over here. Got to be one of those. What's the timestamps on those? 1658 and uh, 1758. So we'll look at that timestamp here. That's going to be probably the 1758 one. 1758. That's the one that's kind of showing up on all these seismographs here. Uh, so that's going to be 1758, which is going to be the 2.0 over here around the eastern part of the park. So uh, a little bit of movement definitely showing up here in Yellowstone with some individualized earthquake swarming taking place, which is, uh, we see that at times, definitely. Uh, but it, the Yellowstone's been awfully quiet. It's been all too quiet recently uh, when it comes to earthquake activity. And uh, it goes through, it goes through uh, quiet times for sure, but uh, I sure like to see the swarms kick up once again. It's kind of cool to watch uh, there at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, and just because we have earthquake swarms, it does not mean that we're going to see Yellowstone uh, erupt uh, or anything like that. We would be, uh, uh, if, if that was the case, we would be looking at probably um, a bunch of fives and some six magnitude earthquakes popping off one right after another uh, there at Yellowstone before that thing uh, were to uh, p potentially blow. But uh, right now we're looking good, folks. Everything looking mellow and uh, as usual up in Montana. Uh, the rest of the area uh, up into the uh, Intermountain West regions look pretty quiet, folks, through uh, Idaho and Oregon and uh, Nevada. Not a whole lot of uh, activity kicking up here overnight. Things kind of mellowing out a little bit along the California region. Uh, looks like north of the Garlock Fault structure, mellow. A little bit of mellowing out, uh, but uh, a little bit of movement around the San, or the, uh, San Andreas Fault here along the creeping section, 2.5. And a couple smaller earthquakes up north, uh, south of the Garlock Fault, along the Pacific side. Yeah, definitely seen some activity uh, kicking up a little bit along the Brawley Seismic Zone. That's going to be this extension of fault here, starting to see that kick up once again. We watched that movement uh, uh, ramp up a little bit here a few days ago. Nothing significant around the Brawley area. Uh, just a couple twos and some ones kicking up in a fashion of a little swarm there at the southern end of the Brawley seismic zone but also down into the Baja California area seeing some uh, further activity ramp up um, around the Los Angeles area had been watching a little swarm there around the Carson area that has since died out uh, only a 2.0 within the last 24 hours there uh, in that area of the uh, state up north, not a whole lot uh, playing out here in the uh, Cascadia. Things kind of just uh, at a standstill at the moment. Uh, latest quake there, 2.1 in the Petrolia area. 
once again, deep 15.5 kilometers. We did see the tremor map last night show us um, zero epicenters once again. I had a weird dream last night uh, that we've seen a major influx in the tremor. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. We'll see if this comes true tonight or not. But uh, when you look at earthquakes and study them a lot and tremor, you start having dreams about them. Crazy. I've had so many earthquake dreams, it's not even not even funny. I've woken up before uh, from one of these dreams, and uh, it's more or less like a nightmare. I was driving along the Oregon coast, and uh, uh, there was a big earthquake off the coast, and a subsequent tsunami overtook me as I was traveling uh, on Highway 101 there. It was pretty unreal. Or pretty real, I should say. Realistic in my dream. But uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. We don't need any major earthquakes out there, but uh, we're still watching uh, watching and waiting, right? That's about all we can do right now. Let's get back here to the uh, map here from the USGS. And um, let's see what else we can uh, look into. Still pretty quiet up along here. Very quiet. Very, very quiet. There was one little earthquake over here in South Carolina. I think that was there from last night at 1.7. Uh, but other areas here to the east look relatively quiet. Uh, for now, the Earthquakes Canada map. Let's go ahead and zoom up here. Latest quake over here. Way over here on the eastern part. Looks like the 3.3 uh, in the uh, Mingan. What is that, Mingan? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. That one occurring earlier. Uh, you can see some of the activity off the coast here of the BC area up and down the board uh, over the last day in the red circles, including that 3.3 near the Port uh, Port Hard Hardy Hardy Port Hardy BC area up north too. Some movement kicking up, but uh, overall, that's uh, looks like a typical day up here. No further swarming up in the north where we had seen uh, during the last month. Things kind of mellowing out up there in the uh, Port Inlet area. Uh, let's check out uh, the solar weather activity while we're at it. See if anything's cooking in that department. And uh, looks pretty uh, looks pretty quiet, folks. Whoa, look at that thing. That is crazy. So this was uh, put out January 12th. A uh, nice eruption was observed from just beyond the northeast limb. The source may be old region 2921, now just a few days from turning back into view. The Earth view, of course, a coronal mass ejection was produced and will be directed away from Earth. We will get a look at the source this weekend. But look at that. That thing looks creepy. Starting to see, I was starting to notice some creepy features on the, uh, on the uh, Earth's surface. That almost looks like some evil demon or something jumping up out of there with his hands in the air and some horns kind of making itself known. Anybody else see that? Probably nothing, but uh, first glance I was like, whoa, what is that? Anyway, uh, <laughs> sunspot activity kind of, uh, it, you, whoa, you guys can I see that? Let's see, uh, so that's, I'm guessing from the eruption, the CME, a coronal mass ejection, but it kind of get, it's kind of got the same shape as the uh, um, coronal hole down here, and that's not associated with it, right? Kind of got the it's a little bit different feature, but it's still whatever it is has its claw raised up in the air. It looks like or horns. I don't know some some uh, weird stuff going on on the sun there. Let me tell you. <laughs> then again, it might just be my wild imagination taking over. But uh, either way, it's kind of cool to look at. Always been fascinated with the sun when it comes to the features and the pure energy uh, that uh, it has. Look at that. I see eyes right there. Nose, right? There's the eyes. Nose, the bridge of nose and the mouth. All right, I better get off here. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. We will chat you a little bit later on. Please stay safe out there, and uh, we'll be back a little bit later on this evening with an update video. Take care, everyone.